this is a haulage drift haulage level add it it's not a drift because it starts from the surface so haulage tunnel haulage at it actually they say a tunnel goes through the mountain comes out on both sides and at it enters the mountain and a drift is off a shaft so I don't know we got some timbered areas here now noticed in this area we talked about this yesterday Get that crappy pulse width modulated light out of there. Okay, so instead of notching the wood, well here they're using a two by four to keep the boards from spacing in and that's quite a bit stronger than actually notching the, the wood square set style. That two by four nailed on the bottom there is simply to keep the, the boards from pushing in. Okay, so this looks like the bottom, and Lee is on his way up. Doing your map, Lee? What? I see you doing your map? Yeah. I'm going to be slow, so I've got a little bit of a head start. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we're taking these ladders. Okay, here we go. Okay. 40 degrees, okay. So this looks like it was strictly haulage pay rock, not waste rock. Okay, continuing up. We're really rocking the safety today, aren't we? Well, they're just so inflate. I mean, it's old wood, and you want to keep your yeah. your feet, your shoes pressed up against the outside. But anyway, we got a. Uh, I see the ore chute. Yeah, an ore chute here, like a half pipe. Yeah, that's what you're gonna have to cross over at some point. That's the diciest spot I remember. Okay. It's just kind of going up and over it, or down and around it, because the ladder is kind of, you know, they crisscross just a, a weird spot. Okay, well, we could do that. But Okay, come on, white balance, you stupid thing. All right, I'm at, well, looks like a drift. We got good airflow blowing up. Here's the ore chute. See that nice half pipe there? And they were taking the pay rock out here, which is the rock that has ore that they want. We got airlines here. We come around here, we got an air tank. Very nice. Riveted, looks fairly old school. Makes you wonder how they got that thing in here. Okay. A drift, I don't know how far. I don't think this was its original position. And we've got track. And there's air blowing out of there. We've got a torch, uh, some equipment lubricant over here. Ooh. It connects somewhere because there is air blowing through there. We got an ore car, no it, wheels, and a tank. And I'm not kidding. Really? Or, no, the tag's gone. I'm sorry, but we do have an ore car. Okay, on the back side of this. And we got track. And. It's that same style yep. as that one yesterday. The, uh, the bin's not quite as deep, but the tag's the same but size. But it's got the same yeah. lever. People yeah. often ask why I don't disclose locations. And this is a good time to repeat that vandalism and theft exactly are two of the reasons and probably but not for sure this was stolen by someone who visited here I don't think the miners would take the tag off 
So that's why I don't give out locations. That and the fact that the BLM and other land management agencies review these videos and use these videos to prioritize mine closures. So by me giving the location aids in actually getting these places sealed up so no one else can visit them. Okay, over on the, there's the air tank over there. Over on this side we got another. Just a say on it, I don't Chassis grease. So is that the top right there? It's supposed to be past that. Past where it shoots lane on the ladders. I don't see the chute laying on the ladders. It, it is. It's that, that one that's going across up there. That's laying on the ladders. It's laying on the rail on the ladders. Gas cables going around this beam. Hey, the ore chute's oh, here. Shoot. Is the chute secured well? Because you can slide down the chute and get into that little drift. Yeah, I mean, it's got, it's got half inch thick cable. The cable is attached to these wooden stulls. Here, Bart's going to squeeze I'm just trying to get past that one piece. Just kind of rubble in there. I wonder if this level in here might be connected to the higher level at some point. Oh, here. Safe up to the, where the rope is anyway. Cross into those tracks. Go inside the tracks. There you go. Can you loosen it? Okay. We'll toss back down to you. There you go, Devin. Try one more time. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just pull it out into those tracks. I gotta wait till it reads out so I can pull the anchor. Alright, Lee, we're clear. Yeah. Okay, we're at the top. We're analyzing. We got a crappy map on the phone over there. So does this go anywhere? This We're is still big, exploring it. This is a big pillar, and it loops it. Did he find a level? Yeah, he said that goes down there. He's got to crawl through it. Can you cross? I don't know. Or shoot. Okay, so now we're, this is like a big stope, big vertical stope. And these are just all, all spin around right here. These are just ore chutes and they drop it down here into the car and then roll it over to that half pipe. Does that go? This does. This airflow. Okay, we're starting to get into some stoked out areas. Kind of sick at crawling through this stuff. Okay, I called, crawled through that little hole and I'm in a kind of a junction room here I guess. It's a, you see the outside there, it's like an incline shaft. They went down there. Um, There's supposed to be two levels down there. 170 feet or so to the bottom is pretty big. I'm gonna. I'm waiting for a report. I'm not. Don't really know if I want to 
walk down that and walk back up right now. Okay, here they come back up. Say it doesn't really go anywhere. <laughs> you want to get that on video? No, oh, I really don't. Right. This is not the Urban Dictionary mine, although maybe it could be. Yesterday it was. Yeah. That's what editing is for. <coughs> I wasn't trying to use these. Room and pillar or something, yeah. Could do this. Room and pillar. That's cheating. Yeah, that actually works great. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Yeah. We're only about 70 feet below the surface. I can see the outside. Yeah, I didn't bring the knee pads this time. Uh, Bill's not gonna like that. At least you have a helmet. <laughs> and you're wearing it. Yeah. Okay, I came up and through there in this big stoped out area. There's the incline. Got a skip car over here. This is the bucket they use to haul the uh, ore or the waste out of here. I think they were maybe taking the pay rock down and the waste rock up. I know that doesn't sound right, but if you had more pay rock than waste rock, you'd want to let gravity do your work for you. Jump into the chute? Yeah, yeah very possible. That, that makes 100% sense. Wheelbarrow bridge. Uh, that's all I bring that is a whole depth. Yes, yeah, tested. It, it would suck. It definitely suck. <coughs> oh. On focus. There you go. Foxy, walk out there. Hmm. Yeah, that would. If this broke, that would be an uncontrolled slide right down that hole. Yeah. Hey, got the plus side, you come out where Lee is. Right. Yeah, he'd help you. Oh, sure he would. So we should set up and take some photographs. Yeah. But, I mean, we got some time, right? Yeah, the best ones are in here if you want the, tr the incline. Is this pretty much it? Yeah, it's basically just a honeycomb like this at the top on both sides. Yeah, see your best bet is like right here, you know, set something up here, and you go down and have something down and you shine a light up the track. It illuminates like you're looking up the track, or have someone on the track looking up the track, and then illuminate all this too. That, those are good shots. Yeah, a neat picture might be if we could get one person up in each one of those holes. Like one person there, one person up there, one person up there where that wood is. And then get the skip car in the front. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be neat. Set the camera down low. Pass the skip huh? to where I was sitting before. Huh? I'm going to go up to where it's really overhanging. Okay. And take a picture of me over nothing. Okay. Then we can all take turns if you guys want the same shots. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, we're playing photography in here, and uh, 
that's up and out. And we've been trying to do some time lapse uh, extended exposures with uh, with the natural light coming in in the uh, incline there. So. Take another quick look at the skip car. This is presumably what rode up and down that thing right there. Here comes Lee doing the maps. How are we doing on time, by the way? You what? How are we doing on time? I don't know. I think it's about 12.30 or something. Okay, up and out. You guys going to be leaving shortly? Yeah. A little wooden ore chute. And I'm headed up, up and out. And it appears that I'm not even to the deep part yet. And I'm going to kill myself. So I don't like this. <laughs> I got three minutes worth of video. Oh, thanks, okay. oh. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. Let's lower some surface. He's Where's Lee at? He's putzing around underneath me. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna be out, we're gonna be outside for a few. Check out surface structures. Okay. <laughs> we went in one side of the mountain, went all the way. Went up about 400 feet and are coming out the other side. Jason, have you ever surfed down the stone pile before? No. It's fun. It looks you could just, you could just scoot, you could just, oh. <coughs> we totally done. <laughs> Got service. Um, Mark, so you could get a video like from the inside of the mountain, just like sliding down the whole pile. Your best bet's to, we'll take a walk over the other incline. Here's the ore bin. So this was the majority waste rock coming out the top. So they were pulling the waste rock up the top and dumping the ore. So this must have been a pretty more more pay rock than waste rock. So you can see over there there's a trail and where we entered the mine is basically that that down there where that road is. So we came up. Say what? Foundation for the hoist house is right up there. So they had a reversing head frame. Hoist house up there. Or bin. I don't know, it doesn't look like it just looks like a dump. Yeah, it's grizzly. On the far end, see the metal? Yeah, maybe grizzly they were in. maybe they were pulling it out both sides, because definitely where we went in was pay rock. Well this is the old workings. I think this was abandoned when they built the haulage tunnel. Oh, gotcha. So this is the older part of the workings? This is the older workings. This, they, so they pulled everything out of the top originally. Oh. And then eventually when they built the haulage tunnel, then um, they just stopped using this and then they started putting it all down that ore chute. Someone tried to light this on fire. Oh, yeah. It's only two beams, three beams that are burned. So someone tr intentionally tried to light this. Hey, there's grizzly in here? It didn't catch. There's probably a grizzly. Hmm? Piece yeah. I don't know why I try and pee people try and burn this stuff. There's been so much of it burnt lately. Yeah, look at that. Look at the trail and the stack rock, stacked rock wall there. So apparently where I crawled through that small hole to that incline that they had gone down, 
you can see those two waste rock dumps right there. One of those, the top of that incline where I saw the light, comes out one of those. So that's how far we were underground. This mine weaves or winds all around the inside of this mountain. This could possibly have been, possibly, have been the blacksmith stump. Ooh, here's a drill head. It's kind of a unique artifact to be, just be sitting out here. Someone would grab that up and put that on eBay in a real hurry. So this is a prime example of vandalism. Again, why I don't give out locations, because somebody tried to burn this big ore bin down. There's a closer look at this beautiful stacked rock trail that goes all the way down to the road down there below. So here's some scale. Okay, here's a stacked rock trail I'm on. And down there are the vehicles. And here's the waste dump, the ore bin. Okay, go ahead with your ass ride. Yeah, that's the quickest way down. I'll take this nice trail. Jeez, this thing is so wide. I almost wonder if this had uh, track on it at one time and they were rolling cars along this, but it's... It's um, kind of steep. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. Oh, okay. This is it. This is the top of that incline uh, that I saw light through, through that little collapsed hole. So, end of the line right there. So that's it. Wow. You don't realize because it's flat underground, you don't realize how much you don't realize how much ground you're covering.